Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another Cooking with Trish. Ooh, that was on, sorry. Um, so today we are making a Raising Cane's chicken strips and sauce. I know, who am I? Like, I actually really like Raising Cane's sauce, so I'm excited to try it and make my own. And I'm also really excited to try it because we have a secret ingredient today, and that is white pepper. I'll link below the recipe I'm following. I think his name is Joshua. Um, it's the first time following one of his recipes. He makes it look really simple, so I think it should be really simple. And he said the white pepper is like the key to like the fried chicken recipe. So yeah, let's get in to making raisin canes, chicken strips at home. All right, so I think this part is pretty easy. This is the batter. So I'm actually doing this a couple hours before we're gonna like fry the chicken. He says like overnight, but you know, I always forget until like the day of. So I'm gonna actually put this in for a couple hours. I just had lunch, so by the time we make this, um, I think we'll be good. So I'm gonna go one and a half cups of buttermilk. And I used buttermilk once before with like a, a, I think it was my boneless, or my, oh no, it wasn't boneless. It was the buffalo, I guess I should put a little more sometimes, okay. Buffalo wings recipe, so he says one and a half cups, so I'm going to do like about two, because I feel like I always need a little more batter when I do my chicken. And then we're going to put tablespoons of the rest of the ingredients, so... We're gonna do a tablespoon of garlic powder. We have fresh garlic for the sauce. And I do like my seasoned well, so I go a little overboard, so. Okay, tablespoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna do a tablespoon of kosher salt. Oh, this is like real kosher. I saw this like literally in the like, they literally have like a Jewish section of our grocery store, which is everything. Um, wow, this is like, thicker salt. I've actually never used like this kind of salt. Okay, tablespoon of that, and then we do a tablespoon of the secret ingredient, white pepper, and it smells actually so good. I was shocked we found this actually. So, we're gonna say that, look. <laughs> it reminds me of like a little like H bag, you know what I mean? From Lost, Charlie, get it? Anyway, okay, anyways. <laughs> so, we're gonna put this over here, and then we're gonna whisk this. I'm sorry if that sound bothers anyone. Like, I feel like one thing I do good is fried chicken. Like, the batters are always pretty easy. As long as you have, like, a wet batter and flour, I feel like you can't go wrong. It's just different seasoning. I'm listening. It smells good, actually. It smells so good. So once I got it whisked together, I'm going to do the chicken with clean hands. And so, yeah, you basically just, we have some pretty thick ones. So we have some thick ones, and we have some smaller ones. Just for the purpose of, I don't know, presentation, taste, all that. We actually, when we make our chicken, we prefer like smaller pieces. Like, this is like a really thick piece for us. But, um, but it is very like raising canes. So I'm just placing all the little chickies in their batter. And oh, by the way, I did uh, like like put another half cup of buttermilk in there because it just wasn't enough. We make a lot of chicken, it just didn't look like enough. So we're gonna really make sure they're all seeped in there. And we're going to cover and put in the fridge for, you know, he said he could do it overnight, but we're gonna do it at least a few hours. So we are going to wrap this up with saran wrap. Cover this up. This guy actually had so many good recipes, like from Burger King. Um, he had a really fast chicken alfredo recipe. So I might have to start watching him. I'm so bad at this. Thing. So we're covering this, the chicken is in, and then I'm gonna put this in our fridge. All right, now for the Cane's sauce, which I was like really excited to make this. Like I was like, okay, I can do fried chicken, but this I'm like really excited to make. So I'm actually going to do, I want to say he did like one and a half cups. So that's a lot. I should just like scoop this. I should just do it directly into the thing because that's just really a waste of a dish. But basically, I 
at this whole thing. I actually did not know that mayonnaise was like a key component, but a ton of people have this recipe. He says he tweaked his a little different, so I'm trusting him. I'm definitely not making my own coleslaw or bread. That's I saw one girl make her raisin canes at home. She literally did the bread from scratch and it looked amazing, but like, what? So I'm kind of just putting all this in there. Because that was the main ingredient was the mayonnaise. And it probably is like that. Okay, love that for me. <laughs> Very scientific. Okay, and then it was like five tablespoons of ketchup. So again, I don't ever eat ketchup. Oh my God, this sounds. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do extra for good matter. <laughs> okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, it was a one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. How the heck do you say that? Worcestershire sauce. So we're gonna put that, which is interesting. It smells good. What do you put that on, like fish and chips? I don't know. Then we are going to do our fresh clove of garlic, which if you can chop up the garlic, it's always better than garlic powder. I'm gonna make another pasta dish where I use garlic because it's seriously smelling so good right now. We do kosher salt and we let it salt him. And then black pepper. This is so, it like seems like a like a home ec project or something. Like it doesn't seem like a real recipe. So I need the lighting. Okay, whatever, but there it is. And then you just mix it all together. I don't know. Oh, it kind of look wow. It kind of looks and smells like the sauce already. Like I'm not gonna lie, that's actually I mean I know I followed a recipe, but like it smells really good. Yum. And so he said with this too, you can like let it sit overnight because you're gonna wrap it in the fridge. Or, yum, that like looks low key good. All right, dang, yes. It smells really good. I'm kind of impressed. All right, so we're gonna cover this and then put this in the fridge as well for as long as we do our chicken. Okie dokie, so we have our chicken that's literally been in the fridge for probably four hours. Sauce is still in the fridge, it has the mayo. But now we are going to do our coating. And the big thing he said about this is to like really, really cover that chicken and coating. So you get those like crispy, flaky things that happen in chicken tenders. So again, I'm kind of a coating expert because I make different fried chicken a lot. So we're gonna make sure we put a lot of coatings. We're gonna do a lot of flour. And he does like teaspoons and stuff of his spices, but you know, I feel like I do the best when I just kind of eye it. So he has garlic powder, because again, I love to season. And then he has some ground paprika, which we used in our Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, which is really, really good. And you know what, I'm gonna do a little extra for good measure, because I did put some more flour than he did, because I think we're making more chicken than him. And then we are going to do our white pepper which I'm super excited about. I feel like this is like gonna make a break. I'd be like, this is the fried chicken taste. So, super stoked on that. And then we have our kosher salt again, which is a lot thicker. All right. This looks really, really good. And we have the fries in the oven. All right, so now we have our mix and we are going to whisk the mix together. Yeah, we don't, I don't usually season my flour. Like if I make like regular fried chicken, I only do it like if it, the recipe calls for it, like Chick-fil-A sandwich or wings. Um, but you know what? I, I really do love the seasoning, so I think maybe I should do it more. All right. Now comes the chicken. Now we are going to do our little chicken. So, taking it out, ooh, it looks so good. I love, I actually love this buttermilk. Like I said, I've only done it once. 
but it does make it really crispy. And I did it on chicken wings last time, so I'm really excited to see what it's going to taste like on, um, I guess kind of like a breast form, which I love chicken breast, it's my favorite. So clean hands, we're going to just dig in. Let's see, I'm going to try and get a big piece. Okay. And he just like really coats his baby. So like I said, I can probably actually put more flour. He's like, I don't want to see a freaking wet piece. It needs to be covered in that, like flour, I guess, coating. All right, I think that's pretty good. So do that. I'm always still not good with like the wet hand versus dry hand thing. Cause no matter what, I always end up with clumpiness. We're going to get these nice and coated and get them really crispy because that's what makes them so good at Chick-fil-A. He's like, no cracks. Okay. There's another one. Yeah. Get all of it in there. Patting it. Like Paddington the bear. This one down. I guess maybe we should only put it in one at a time. But yeah, I'm just really going to town on the padding. That's what he said, so. Make it really crispy. And he didn't do the double dip. I know a lot of times when they make crispy chicken sandwiches, they do like a double dip, but he didn't do that, so. I'm not going to either, but we'll get a little more on the bottom. Yeah, okay, we are talking. There's like some right here that doesn't need it, okay. Like pat it there. Mm-hmm. Got another big mama jamma. And you just really coat it up. And it looks pretty good. And it's not coagulating too much, which is good. Sometimes it will. that on there and let that sit there all right we got a few more pieces left so coat these babies up and we have vegetable oil already frying on the stove yep that one looks like it's pretty good the sides are always a little difficult but you know we got it we're getting it done there's quite a few pieces left. Okay. I actually might need more flour. I didn't know. Pat, pat, pat. I'm trying to get it on these ends so the ends are nice and crispy because the ends are always my favorite when I go to the restaurant to get. Okay. Is it for the chicken? Yeah. Okay. So as I do with the end of my batters, I kind of just wing these. <laughs> no pun intended, because they are not wings. They are breasts. And just really give them a nice coating. There are final ones. They're gonna get a little more chunks in them, but that's okay. towards the end. Okay. Just trying to cover all this the best I can. Equal opportunity coating. All right, <laughs> let's go wash these hands. All right, now we are putting them in our vegetable oil, or we're trying to see. Hmm. Pretty good. Is it too high that side oil? <laughs> Hope this breading stays on. Sometimes the seasoning falls off, so <laughs> we'll see how they go. Alright, 
my and when they are a golden brown or to your liking. He says five to seven minutes. So we're plating them. They look so good. And then I'm gonna get the sauce prepared. Okay, so this is the final plate, crispy chicken, homemade sauce, and a crinkle fries. All right, we're gonna get my husband and we're going to try this. Okay, taste test. I piled on the fries because I wanna get more than one, so. <laughs> All right, should we try the chicken? I'm trying the fry. You try the fry? I just wanna try the sauce. Okay. It looks exactly like their sauce. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. That's after a few, like three hours, four hours in the fridge. Did you get their chicken. sauce and put it in there? <laughs> no, I made it myself. Is it really, is it good? It's exactly the same. Really? Like exactly, I'm exactly try. the same. Oh no! <laughs> With none That's of the so chicken. Funny. Here, okay, let's get it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got a lot of sauce. Boom. I, I go like that. Mmm. It is good though. Mmm. I taste like it. Wow. I need some more chicken with my sauce. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Mmm. Chicken is really good. Okay. What's the word? More succulent. Mm hmm. It's like. It's actually really juicy. Mm hmm. It's the thickness. Mmm. I love the breading. Mmm. Wow. And they're still really hot. We actually took them out a little while ago because I was thinking, like, a thumbnail and stuff. Oh my god. Because usually we cut them really thin. Right. These taste like actual chicken tenders. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's actually so good. I'm like so... So many flavors. Well, the big difference in this is the white pepper. And the buttermilk. We don't. We never used buttermilk with like chicken breast before. I only used it once on those wings. But all the spices. Mmm. Paprika, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, this is like really a chicken. Yeah, it's mm. so succulent. Mm hmm. So you know what? I like that word. Yeah. Like the sauce is good, but I like it just as is too. Mmm. They are so hot still. I know. Oh wait, like, this is <clears throat> I'm so hungry. This is better than Kane's. Because once again, Kane's has that gristle sometimes. Because they just take whatever of the chicken. I can definitely taste the spices in this. Maybe I went a little overboard, but mm. I love the breading. Yeah, no, but our chicken is always comes out better. Yeah, always. I prefer our chicken at home all the time. Mmm. Because I, I choose them carefully, the piece of chicken we get, mm -hmm. and also we cut the nicest parts of it. You do that. That's all you, and you're so good at it. Mmm. Wow. It's making me do sauce every time. You like it? It's so it, That was literally so easy. That's like ketchup, mayonnaise, and Worcestershire sauce. And then a little bit of garlic. And then you put it in the fridge for like a few hours. I'm not really like that. You like it with the fries better? I always get this sauce at Raising Cane's. Really? Mm -hmm. It's almost like it finishes too fast. It need more <laughs> over there. I hate when it finishes too fast. Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That one was really good. Mm. It's like an asteroid. 
Like Lost. They didn't have asteroids in Lost. I'm surprised. Right. Mm -hmm. There's nothing space related. This is weird because it's kind of paranormal. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is so good. We had salads for lunch, so I was looking forward to this. <laughs> I just can't get over how hot the chicken, how like juicy it is, because like sometimes our chicken like will dry out, which I'm fine with, but it's like the perfect piece of chicken right there. The breading's fun too, like it almost like slides out of the breading because there's just so much of it. It's almost like chicken skin, the breading. Mm-hmm. What I love. But I remember when we went there the first time, I was surprised you liked raisin canes because they were like the one's dry. Right. <laughs> they have, like, um, which is true. I like raisin cakes. Like I said, sometimes they have a little gristle, but these are even better because they're more well done, too. Because we really cooked them to perfection. I think they're definitely bigger than the pieces they serve. Mm hmm. That crunch, though? Mm mm mm. Mm. You nailed it. Mmm. Yeah? What would you rate it? I mean, it's perfect. There's nothing to change. Really? Mm -hmm. Of all our chicken dishes, what's your favorite? Hmm. It's hard to say. <laughs> like the schnitzel? But you, that's all season. You like the seasoning. I guess we could just try this in this in them. I'm thinking it'd be the hybrid of the schnitzel on this. Yeah. But I actually like this juiciness of this butter. Like, I like the thicker pieces. So we can make thicker schnitzels mm -hmm. with some of these spices in that panko. Yeah, that would be good. Got another big chicken piece right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I took all of right because I didn't want to get up again. Mm. I have some. I like the well Crispy? done ones. How about them? Oh my god. I'm very impressed with this recipe. Makes it for our fluffy pancakes that we didn't make. <gasps> Any baking? Mm mm. This guy has a recipe for Cinnabons at home, like the Cinnabons at the mall, which I've been wanting, but um, it's so far away and I want to make them, but I'm just like, God, I'm just the worst baker. I think a couple of times and you'll get it. <laughs> mm mm. I heard also, the ones from the them. Fluffy pancakes were not your fault. Who fault was it? Like the tools and the amounts. Like. Yeah, but I followed it exactly though. <laughs> but it's the first time you ever fluffed, you know. Yeah. Why is it cream or why is it like? Egg whites. <laughs> so it's the first time you did that. Yeah. Thanks for being encouraging me. Once you figure that part out, <laughs> then. But I did burn the cinnamon rolls like from Pillsbury, just the ones you put in the oven. I always burn those, so I feel like I'm just really bad at baking. It takes time until you learn each oven how much. Mm. <sighs> this is like Moses' signature. I just realized you had this on. I was like, this is like your signature house outfit. No, it's from Memorial Day until Fourth of July. Oh, really? Is that what it is? <laughs> I love it. He has like what, two or three of these. <laughs> Oh, I cool. love it. These are my favorite though. This one's soft and it's like long, so it kind of reminds me of like Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> and I always look like this when I'm around the house. This is how I just lounge around every day. I love to see me like this all the time. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. She takes her makeup off after I go to sleep. <laughs> yep, and on before you get up. And she wakes up before me. <laughs> That's me wondering how I'm gonna get this wig off because he like sealed it down today. Mm. So I think he put like glue. He said either rubbing alcohol or soap. Probably soap. <laughs> so there's no pins? There's no. No. He laid it really flat. So, so there was a human hair wig. Usually I have synthetic. So he usually pins it, but this had like a hairline. So. It looks good. I mean, everyone of the live or. <laughs> It's my best wig that I've gotten so far. I'm going crazy for the week. Mm. I love this time of night. This time of night, we've been up since like six o'clock. Go, go, go. Filming, working, paying bills, like all that stuff in between. 
and like literally not a lot of, like no breaks and then we had to prep this did my live all that stuff did like a photo shoot for instagram like i never do that much work for instagram and then backdrops like backdrop like i was getting so tired and so hot six and a half months pregnant and then we came back and started cooking and then i love this time because it's like okay we just ate i feel full and now it's like okay we go in and watch lost we have our little ice cream bars ice cream from like our thing lately and it's just a really fun vibe it's just great I feel like I talk like Kim Kardashian when I have this on. Like, it's, seriously, I you couldn't should. even stop. I was like... You should. It's such a vibe. And then I have another cosplay Friday that we're doing. Um, that, we'll see how that turns out. In my head, I think it's oh, a video. Oh, I forgot. Am I in it? Yeah, you have that teal shirt. It's Brie and um, Orson pregnant. And he's like, she has her belly. I don't know. In my head, it sounds like a good idea, but... We'll try. They are our favorite characters. Yeah. I know, but like, it's like, it's so crazy how we find a new show and I'm like over that show now. I'm kind of like, oh, I'm kind of over that show, but I've been wanting to do the cosplay cause she, when she's pregnant because I'm pregnant, obviously, so. It's like when people move away, you know, it's connected <laughs> to them. Mm-hmm. That's so true. Like, we don't see them every day. Or, or when you're pregnant. I like don't see half my friends anymore. I'm like, it is crazy when you're like in a different direction. I don't know. I want my friends to start having babies. I mean, so a lot of a lot of our friends do. Actually, a lot of them have like one year olds. Weirdly, like last year was the baby boom, but now we're making friends for our baby. We're going to like baby birthdays. <laughs> like, who can she play with? And yeah. I haven't seen weird because we're like thinking about the baby shower. And like, who do we even invite? <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of people. Families. I mean, we have a big list from. Well, I mean, we could invite like 200 people, but I like the general group being kind of small. Between, between your birthday, my birthday, the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a lot. So it's like the people that were more in our birthday and then. A mix. We also like to spend time with each person. Like our gender reveal is good because you could like spend time. And I always feel bad when people come out and you're like, and that's just how it goes. We went to a birthday party of one of my friends' kids and like we saw her for like a minute, you know, which is like how it works. But I like spending time with everybody. And especially for those, those are about the kids. We didn't have our daughter, obviously, yet. She isn't here, but not playing. Another one, she has the one year old birthday. We're going to have to get that ball pit because everybody has the freaking ball pit. <laughs> that's easy. Okay. Oh, man. I can't get over how good this chicken was. I'm actually like surprised. Mm -hmm. The buttermilk is the good. Sauce. The sauce. How big that chicken is. It's just humongous. I'll take another bite of this. Mm hmm. Mm. It's great. We do so much more in the longer days. Mm hmm. Because it's 11 o'clock now. It's like summer days. I mean,. And by the time we're done with all this, putting stuff away, shower, wig, all that stuff, it's like 8, it's like 8.30. That's not including uploading my footage, because then probably tonight I'll just upload the footage to my computer. Because I want to put the Kim Kardashian out, because tomorrow is the last episode of the season. What? Mm-hmm. <sighs> we're like three behind, so. But yeah, it's the last episode of the season, so i got to get that out quickly, and I'm at ASMR, and then we're going to take a break for the weekend, which is kind of nice. We're going away. So we won't be uploading like Friday, Saturday. Well, you'll see this probably after, but a little, a little break, which is not really break because we're filming TikTok. It's never ending. It's fun, so. No, I love it. I love filming. I love these days too. Like today, I literally thought it was gonna be such an easy filming day. I was like, oh, it's like two days more. It's like no big deal. Have a sponsored video. Have a lot. It's a lot. It actually is so much. It's like wow, TikToks. Program. Yeah, it was really fun though, and this was really good. I actually like love cooking. I have so many more things. We are gonna cook a Moses a Moses meal from his mom. We're gonna get that get some recipe. Recipes. We're gonna do chicken. Um, it's like get? in the in the oven. It's like well, that's probably easier, right, than fried chicken. Yeah, it's better than fried, but the certain vegetables and spices and I don't know, it's just so. Good. When I have the chicken, it's just when so I have 
You had it was it once. Like, a lot of sauce, a lot of flavor. Which I'm all about now. I used to be kind of like, mm, I don't the like sauces and flavors. Mm. The potatoes are just amazing. Are they cut up like how? Like breakfast potatoes or, or round potatoes? They're like sliced. Mm. Kind of like a Pringle, like sliced, but thicker. I love that reference. It did. How long? Is this the one that like, you have to get up at like 5 in the morning to start? Which no, is fine. We can prep all day. No. <laughs> You're like, mm, maybe. I think first it's cooked like... It's closed, so everything's all the juices stay inside. Mm. And then you open it and kind of broil it for a little while, so the potatoes get crispy and the skin of the chicken oh, gets crispy. It's but kind of like a crock pot. You just put it in and go. <laughs> Minus the crock pot. You just have to come back a couple of times, open it, and take the juices, kind of put them over uh, everything, because the spices kind of stay on top of it. It's kind of easy. You could do that throughout the day. So yeah. days like today. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, I'm excited. So we'll do that one next. Let me think. Yeah, I think next. Oh no, I have an Elvis one coming out for the peanut butter. You won't like it. For the Elvis movie, I ordered an Elvis t-shirt from the new movie and I want to make the fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Those were his favorite. It has that sound to you, a fried peanut butter and banana. No, we could make one for me with new talent banana. <laughs> That's not Elvis, but okay. <laughs> I will. Didn't we do that before? Something, it was like, marshmallow, yeah. <laughs> and those, the bread, we gotta get thick bread, toast it up, and then yeah, that bread is the best. Remember the one we made before we went somewhere else? We made the Doritos, it was like a Dorito cheese, and you got mozzarella sticks from Arby's for me, and I put them in the sandwich. Oh. <laughs> Did you eat that? Or just I? I definitely took a bite of it. <laughs> Not your thing. Mm. Maybe when they're warm, it's really sticks, but once they're cold. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's kind of like any kind of food, though. Once it's cold, it's kind of like not that good anymore. These stayed hot, though. I'm going to have one more bite and then I'm done. They're still. I'm so, so cool. good. I have Me so too. Many fries and chicken. Mm. I'm full of them. I think I need to stop eating because. Mm. Those are big pieces. We did good on the chicken. Another one, so good. You like it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't hear kids are gonna have the best parents. We're cooking <laughs> them like chicken, a homemade chicken fingers and fries. And they're gonna get that good stuff. Whatever they want, fast food will make it here. Mm -hmm. it is, it's better. This is from someone who loves fast food, slow food. My baby's happy. <laughs> mm hmm. My baby's happy. She was getting hungry. She had a busy day. Very busy. She's like, Whoa, we're doing a lot. I think I felt the kicks during the live. I felt her up here, like in the ribs. I'm like, oh my god, she must have really long legs. Maybe she was like stretching. Or... I think because it was like weird. I was like, oh. Anywho, we need to go and see <laughs> her again. Like, I know. Oh well, yeah, it's not supposed to live. So long, like. Well, you can make an appointment. I think it's our last one, too, to, before the birth. Because it's our third trimester. Yeah. Like, I miss her, like, seeing. I know. Seeing how she's doing, how big she's getting. I don't know. Well, we'll see her in person soon enough, so. Anyways, that's our updates. Moses is still working in the nursery. Everyone was wondering that. We're going to do a nursery theme reveal. Um, what else? What else? There's lots of stuff coming. There's a new podcast coming, hopefully, very soon. Very exciting. I'm glad you guys like these cooking videos. Someone's like, I could just watch the whole channel of this. And that's kind of what it's turning into. So much fun. And yeah. Thanks yeah, practice. for all your help, love, support. Go watch the vlog of him doing the behind the scenes of my Instagram photo shoot. We really took it. <laughs> we took that to the extreme. I wish we were filming that beginning. Oh my God. Me and the skims. When I looked at the photos, I was like, oh my God. I'll make sure to put the photos into the vlog. Oh, I should have done it like TikTok where it's like, you know, like, yeah. the, but, the, the, the but I think, I mean, I think what would be interesting for people to see like the result because the result is good. The pink one, yes. The skims this morning, no. <laughs> <laughs> the one with like me like this. No, it was... <laughs> after that. After that Wait, I can took, actually show you guys. The ones we took closer. I put them on here. Oh, you already done one? Yeah, because I posted one. I posted one good one. 
Oh my god. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? That's why, that's why I was telling you. Like, you gotta think more. You gotta, like, more tell me relaxed. if this looks like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> more relaxed. Wait, there's one even worse. Wait, because my face was okay <laughs> no. in that one. Wait. I would have shown them a good one. Babe, how about this one? You you thought this was good? You thought, oh yeah, pose what? like that, babe. I didn't. That was the photo. That's you couldn't the original pose. Oh my god, my hands look huge. Like, what? it looks like. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> That was the pose. I let's see. Let's see a photo. Of I. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling her again. That's so weird. I feel like kicks. Well, she's hearing us having fun. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? Okay, my face. <laughs> but that's the look. Uh, her whole body was in her photo. skims. We're promoting oh, skims. Okay. We're not promoting skims. It's not an ad, but. I mean, you're promoting Kim Kardashian, promoting skin, yeah. promoting Balenciaga, just, promoting the show. <laughs> if we did a whole Balenciaga <laughs> shoot. Wow, baby, you just crushed it. I mean, look, I took this photo. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, man. You don't want to show too much, just to claim himself, you know, like. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's so tan. I wish I was that tan. Not bad. Very cute. No. Kind of missed the mark on these. No. But it was fun. I mean, I wish we were videoing it because honestly, it probably looked even more ridiculous. This is like a glam camera that like filters you and makes you pretty. No, it doesn't change you that much. It does a little like softness on it. It's more like it, it really takes the light, you know, like it takes yeah. the light and... Softens. But. 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 Thanks, Look at that! You did like there was so much sauce. Look at that. That was your photo. Photo by Moses. Let's do a camera by Moses. I did post the one on Instagram. I posted this one. So we got a couple. Go to my Instagram. Put your babies back up. That was probably the best. And someone's like, I see no difference. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh my god! Don't laugh that hard. Yeah! I was excited. I posted it like six hours ago. We got a lot of, we got a lot of likes. 25,000 likes. We're here for that. Anyways, go follow my Instagram, Trisha Paytas. Back up. It's kind of growing, actually, this Instagram, so <coughs> go follow that. And yeah, this was so good. I'm so excited. This wig was actually so comfortable today, so. Yeah. You know why? Because my hair is flat. It's not under braids and it's no pins. There's like a, there's two pins on the side, but that's it. Oh. Nothing else is pinned. It's and glued. Are you braided or are you... No, it's flat. Back? Yeah, feel it right there. Feel that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, which is actually really comfortable. I think that's why it lays so flat, too. Angels did very good, good today. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that is our mukbang. We have a weekend getaway. Are you excited? It's Father's Day. Celebrating you. And, um, yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Tune in. Last episode of the season. <laughs> yes, to the Kardashians. <laughs> Bye, guys.